Chapter 1431, The Crown Prince Consort's Present, Family Head Kin, Eldest Young Sir, Second Young Sir, You are from a pill patrician family. Do you know how much this prolongation pill will extend the Queen Dija's lifespan? The person who spoke was the second old master of the Wu family. He was practically unable to pry his eyes away from the small porcelain bottle. Kin Gilu smiled faintly. He stood up in all seriousness and cupped his hands toward the Queen Dowager, analyzing, this prolongation pill that the Commander E Princess purchased is a high rank mid-grade prolongation pill. Judging from the effects and the Queen Dowager's cultivation, consuming this mid-grade prolongation pill will probably cough extend her lifespan for at most half a year. The hall could not help but burst in an uproar when Kin Gilla finished speaking. It was already circulating outside that this high rank mid-grade prolongation pill had been genuinely auctioned off for the astronomical price of 170,000 high-grade mystic currency. Wasn't it a bit of a loss to spend this astronomical price yet only be able to extend the Queen Dowager's lifespan for half a year? Everyone could not help but roast in their mind. Yet they continued to speak words of praise on the outside. Second Kin looked up and swept his glance over the little stoic's face so swiftly that it was practically undetectable. However, the little fellow still keenly sensed a hint of the pressure that came from this gaze. When she focused her gaze to locate its origin, she could only see everyone in the main hall talking volubly about that prolongation pill. She could not track down any suspicious gaze, feeling that she might have been overthinking it. She lowered her eyes. Beside her, Crown Prince Mo squeezed her petite hand, and the two whispered into each other's ears. Seeing their intimate behavior augmented the uncomfortable feeling in Commander E Princess Yin's heart. Commander E Princess Yin's eyes flickered. Suddenly, she smiled at the Queen Dowager and suggested softly. Yin heard that the Crown Prince Consort has also prepared a grand gift for your majesty the Queen Dowager. Yin hopes to be able to widen her horizons. The people who were originally talking cheerfully instantly turned silent. The main hall was so quiet that it was simply terrifying. Even the king and the queen who were sitting with the Queen Dowager up on the steps stopped smiling and reflexively looked at their daughter-in-law. It was over. The king wailed miserably. This Yin couldn't have taken the wrong medicine. Right? Why did she just start targeting the young crown prince consort for no reason? Just look at today. Besides that idiotic Chilyark of the Akdo tribe, who else would target the crown prince consort without rhyme or reason? Was she stupid? Yin was shocked to feel the crown prince's arctic gaze settle on her. Her heart quivered, and she momentarily stopped talking. It was simply so silent in the main hall that one could hear a pin drop. The little stoic suddenly stood up expressionlessly and patted over to the middle of the main hall. With a flip of her hand, she held a beach the size of a basin in her arms and lifted it up with both hands. For you, grandmother. This scene looked cute. No matter how one looked at it, regardless of everyone's twitching mouths, smiles had surfaced in their eyes. The old queen Dija was grinning from ear to ear. Oh my, my good granddaughter-in-law. From where did you get such a big beach of immortality? Good, good, good. Quickly bring it up. The Queen Dija nodded repeatedly as she smiled so widely that her eyes became slits. The junior manager eunuch promptly switched to a beaming expression as he ran down the steps and took the big beach of immortality from the crown prince consort. The little stoic took out another one without much of an expression. The junior manager eunuch ran back and forth twice to bring the peaches of immortality to the Queen Dowager. While doing so, he took another sniff, drunk on the peaches fragrance. Goodness. What kind of beach was this? It was not only big, but it was also bathed in a spiritual air, its fragrance wafting about. Hash, chapter 1432, impossible. After the young crown prince consort took out those two beaches, everyone smelled a fragrance wafting through the entire hall, and they all gulped uncontrollably. With their eyes glued to the beaches, they were unable to turn their heads away. The twelfth prince, in particular, bolted up. Eldest sister-in-law. This is such a gigantic beach. Molian facepanned in exasperation before sending him a glare. Shut up. The twelfth prince pursed his lips aggrievedly and plopped down pitifully. He muttered, Eldest sister-in-law, you are will have his birthday soon too. Everyone, 
The little stoic glanced at him before looking again at the junior manager eunuch who was running back to her. Kiao Mu beckoned toward the junior eunuch. The junior eunuch quickly ran over and bowed slightly while saying with a smile, Crown Prince Consort. Subsequently, the little stoic expressionlessly turned over her petite hand, and she tossed two white small porcelain bottles plus one small jar into the junior eunuch's hands. For grandmother, the old queen Daija was beaming widely as she was examining the big beaches of immortality in her arms. She quickly lifted her head upon hearing Kiao Mu and looked at the two small porcelain bottles and one small jar that the junior eunuch was bringing to her. The queen Daija was moved, and she asked curiously with a smile, What is this? my granddaughter-in-law, three prolongation pills, everyone, one level 15 mystic breakthrough pill, everyone, and a case of beautifying cream, the entire hall once again descended into dead silence, there truly wasn't anyone who spoke up this time, everyone merely sat there quietly as they stared at this stoic faced young crown prince consort as if she were an alien from an outer star domain, impossible, Yin could barely suppress her belly full of anger, she looked up, unable to resist giving the crown prince consort a look of ridicule. Could it be that you want to tell everyone that you are a pill alchemist? To say nothing of that beautifying cream, which I have never heard of. There is no one in the entire Psykong planet who can refine something like a level 15 mystic breakthrough pill. Do not think that I do not understand medicinal materials just because I do not know how to refine pills. I heard that refining level 15 mystic breakthrough pills requires a necessary ingredient. The fire magic horn leaf, which has simply long gone extinct on Psykong planet. As she spoke. She once again sneered at the stoic face. Without the fire magic horn leaf, what did you use to refine a level 15 mystic breakthrough pill? She wasn't the one who refined it, okay? That level 15 mystic breakthrough pill was Long Chuan's handiwork. She was merely red shifting it to the Queen Dowager. However, the lackadaisical little stoic who loathed to explain herself naturally was not going to waste her breath on her. Kiao Mu cast her a glance before turning around and trotting back to her seat next to the crown prince. Everyone, do I knew I was incredibly amused upon hearing Commander e Princess Yin trying to expose something with all her might. She rebuked the crown prince consort. The fire magic horn leaf is the key ingredient of creating the level 15 mystic breakthrough pill. It can be said that the level 15 mystic breakthrough pill cannot be created without this earth rank medicinal material. Your majesty the queen dowager should be prudent in consuming it, in case she purposefully paused in saying the rest leaving enough space for the imagination. But who didn't know that her following words would definitely be in case you consume a fake pill and injure your body on top of failing to break through. Upon hearing this, the little stoic knitted her brows before abruptly taking out a stack of wrinkled papers from her inner world. Everyone looked at her in bafflement. As the crown prince was sitting right next to her, he could see the paper clearly, and his mouth involuntarily twitched. Chapter 1433 Face hurts. Upon glancing over, do you are you I also made out the crumpled pieces of paper in the little stoic's hands right away. This was a stack of gift lists that accompanied their respective gifts. The little stoic remembered that there was definitely a fire magic horn leaf in here. After taking great pains to browse through them for a bit, she finally found that gift list that included a fire magic horn leaf, standing up with a frown. The little stoic just flung out that gift list. A scroll with a gift list just floated to the ground, and on it was written the details of the gifts. There were all kinds of miracle elixirs and curious treasures that one could wish for. Tap, tap, tap. Afraid that Commander Princess Yin had poor eyesight and was unable to see clearly, the little stoic walked up to Commander Princess Yin by herself and slapped that gift list on Yin's face. Take a look yourself, Father Kiao who was sitting with the court officials, facepalmed in exasperation. Meanwhile, Kin Gilu did not know whether other people could see the details of this gift list, but he had clearly espied various rare medicinal materials, pills, defensive dharma treasures, etc. This simply was unfilial sons. Family head Kin glared at eldest young Sir Kin, who had covered his face with his hand. In truth, at that time, 
The eldest young sir had sent such a generous gift in order to disgust His Highness the Crown Prince. Yet who would have expected the little stoic to act like this today? She made family headkin realize in heartache that he had sent out so many presents, cough, cough, cough. Although second young sir kin remained indifferent next to them, he gave the eldest young sir a contemplating look. Who would have known? This guy had actually sent out such lavish gifts. From the length of that gift list, he estimated there to be 200 items from beginning to end without any of them repeating, see, he really was generous. Commandery Princess Yin was left stupefied as she gazed at the several characters before her eyes. The four characters for Fire Magic Horn Leaf were written clearly on the gift list. Her face flushed red, and she simply felt like crying on the inside. Previously. She had been speaking with conviction about how it was simply impossible for the Crown Prince Consort to refine a level 15 mystic breakthrough pill because she did not have the key ingredient, the fire magic horn leaf, as a catalyst. The result was, she got face slapped by the little stoic within moments. Commandery Princess Yin could only feel her face hurt terribly and throb with pain. However, if she were to step down now, the situation for her would end up even more wretched. All eyes in the hall were on her, with most of them looking forward to watching an amusing show. How could she retreat? Commandery Princess Yin took a deep breath and declared with a scoff, Even if you do possess the fire magic horn leaf, even if you are a pill alchemist, this cannot prove that there is nothing wrong at all with this level 15 mystic breakthrough pill. Commandery Princess, you're not making sense Liang King King interrupted with a grim look. I believe that a portion of the people here are more informed than you on whether or not little junior sister is a pill alchemist as well as the skill of her pill refining technique. That's right, that's right Wine and Fing grinned while waving his fan. This commandery princess what's her name? The little stoic really is an excellent pill alchemist. The day before yesterday, this little fellow had just given the second highness of Bailey a level 13 mystic breakthrough pill. Take a look today. This fellow from Bailey is now a level 13 mystic cultivator. Why Nanfing, this dunce's words promptly triggered massive ripples, and everyone looked over at Bailey's eye. Sure enough, they could detect the energy fluctuations characteristic of a level 13 mystic cultivator coming from this second highness's body. The little stoic loathed to explain and put away that pile of messy gift lists before walking back to her seat next to the crown prince with a wooden expression. On the other hand, Commandery Princess Yin was utterly discomfited. What was the deal? Hash, chapter 1434, face really hurts, because she gave a single prolongation pill as her present. This stoic face was now giving the Queen Dowager 3. Was she planning to put on a show of ability by treading upon her pride? She had finally purchased this single prolongation pill for Her Majesty the Queen Dowager after going broke in order to astonish everyone in the main hall today. Yet right now, there was no harm without comparison, and she got pummeled once there was a comparison. The stoic face was like a peerless nouveau riche and took out three prolongation pills without saying anything. It was just like this prolongation pill was like the cabbage you bought from the streets, not valuable at all. How was she going to stomach that? How could that be tolerated? Commandery Princess Yin turned down her stiff and lips into a frown as she glanced coldly at the expressionless stoic face. She really wanted to tear apart this expressionless face exclamation mark slash and let everyone see her true colors. Hypocritical and conceited. This little lady simply wasn't as tranquil and unconcerned as she made it out to be. Her purpose here today was to ruthlessly face slap her, Yin. How hateful, hateful. Hateful. If the little stoic could hear Yin's internal thoughts, she would definitely scoff at Yin. Were you crazy, who had the leisure to deliberately go against and face slap you? You were just so unlucky as to present a gift similar to mine. Who could you blame? You could only admit to your bad luck. Since you say that there are three prolongation pills inside this bottle, do you dare pour one out and let family headkin of the pill patrician family evaluate it? Family headkin? who had gotten shot even while lying down, looked at that commandery princess in surprise. What was the situation? Why are you involving this old man in this messy business? Can this old man say no to this appraisal? Yet Kiyamu loathed to even raise her eyes. She turned her petite face aside, 
unwilling to talk any more to an idiot. Crown Prince Mo squeezed her petite hand in amusement before answering for her, as you please. However, this Crown Prince proposes that since we will be performing an appraisal, then we should also have family headkin appraise Commander A Princess Yin's prolongation pill. Your Highness is absolutely right the officials all nodded to concur. Family headkin, please. Since there was someone rushing to lose face, she had no reason to refuse. Kiaomu swept Commander A Princess Yin an indifferent look and did not say anything. With no way out, Kin Gilu could only stand up and say, since His Highness has already given the word. Then this old man will perform an appraisal. If there are any mistakes, please point them out. The king's interest was now totally piqued, and he quickly said with a nod, Will family head Kin please? Kin Gila first picked up Commander E Princess Yin's pill. As mentioned earlier, this is a mid-grade pill with blue veins. After the Queen Daiji consumes it, she will be able to extend her lifespan by half a year. Blue veined pills have an inherent pill fragrance. Everybody should be able to smell it. Everyone nodded. At this time, Kin Gila picked up the jade bottle that the young crown prince consort had presented. The moment he opened the jade bottle's lid, everyone could smell a faint medicinal fragrance wafting through the main hall, refreshing their minds. So fragrant. Everyone took a deep breath in unison as if wanting to suck in all the medicinal fragrance from that pill into their bellies. On the other hand, Kin Gilu jumped up excitedly. This is a high-grade prolongation pill with purple veins. If the Queen Daiji consumes it, her lifespan can extend by two years. Right, 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 one can only consume this kind of high-grade prolongation pill at most three times within twenty years. Wow, the hall instantly turned noisy. The people visibly moved by this information. Everyone looked in shock at the young crown prince consort. Kin Gilu even cupped his hands toward the young crown prince consort. Could I ask if the crown prince consort was the one who refined this pill? Hash, chapter 1435, face hurts too much. Impossible. Yin, who had originally wanted to expose the crown prince consort for deceiving the queen dowager with a fake pill did not expect to have dug a pit for herself in the end. Commandery Princess Yin was so infuriated that all her internal organs hurt, and her face was burning up unbearably. It was like everyone was looking at her weirdly like they would at an idiot. This was intolerable, especially that family head kin. He had actually even said that this stoic face had refined such an amazing high rank high grade prolongation pill herself. So, how was that possible? Before the crown prince consort could speak, Commandery Princess Yin cut in first and negated the possibility with a voice that had shot an octave higher than normal. She swept family head Kin a glance and declared cynically, the Crown Prince Consort must have expended incalculable amounts of time and energy on cultivating for her cultivation to be so high. How could she have the spare time to also become an advanced level pill alchemist? The number of advanced level pill alchemists who can refine high rank high grade pills in the entire Psychon planet can be counted on two hands. Moreover, each of them are aged elders. The stoic face before you is only just 15 years old. Even if she were to start learning how to refine pills in her mother's womb, there would not be enough time. In her anxiousness, Commandery Princess Yin had directly called the Crown Prince Consort stoic face, making everyone speechless. This Commandery Princess was loftily analyzing the situation like a famed detective, dissecting the truth of the matter. Afterwards, she swept another glance at family head Kin and shook her head calmly. Family head Kin, your words are too laughable. Kin Gilu was momentarily at a loss for words. Indeed, if the young crown prince consort was really the one who refined these three high rank prolongation pills, then she was too incredible. Not only did she achieve great success in cultivation, but she also had such significant attainments in the art of pill alchemy. This didn't sound too realistic. However, this commandery princess was too full of herself, so it was unavoidable that her tone of voice would make people uncomfortable. Kin Gila frowned and rebutted curtly, 
Only the crown prince consort knows herself whether it is true or not. Is the commandery princess not making too subjective an assertion? The young crown prince consort sat there without speaking. Only people on close terms with her were able to tell that she had reached the end of her patience. It really was gloomy how this commandery princess Yin just latched on to her without willing to let go. The little stoic stood up once again and trotted to Kind Gilu. She swiped her hand suddenly and a large pile of porcelain bottles appeared before him. Kin Gilly looked at her in shock, and his hands trembled as he opened one of them, prolongation pills. The second one, prolongation pills. The third one, still contained prolongation pills. Family head Kin's jaw was about to plummet in shock from the large pile of prolongation pills. This, this was. These prolongation pills were refined by the batch. He checked and counted all the bottles before announcing with a quavering voice, 100 bottles of prolongation pie pill pills. Gulp. Family head Kin discovered that he could even hear the sound of himself swallowing saliva, with five in each bottle. Wow sounds of loud gasps could be heard in the main hall. Everyone was thunderstruck by the little stoic. They simply couldn't imagine the boldness needed to pull out 500 prolongation pills at once. Was it really that good for you to scare people like this? Shouts suddenly erupted inside the momentarily silent main hall, crown prince consort, I will buy it, I will, I will, are you selling these prolongation pills, crown prince consort, how about selling one to me, in an instant, the entire main hall turned into the food market, with everyone in such a frenzy that they wished for nothing more than to pounce onto this pile of pills, hash, chapter 1436, bitterly crushed, crown prince consort, me, me, I will purchase a prolongation pill for 170,000 mystic currency. Me, me, I will also pay 170,000 mystic currency. To buy one, I will just buy one. Crown Prince Consort, I beseech you, sell a prolongation pill to me. Crown Prince Consort, I will pay 1 million mystic currency. So could you sell me six prolongation pills for a bit cheaper? Scram, you actually want six. The shouts of people's bids and quarrels immediately arose within the main hall, throwing everyone into disorder. Yet the little stoic swiftly gathered up the 100 bottles of prolongation pills before silently looking up at everyone. That gaze was so disdainful that it made everyone terribly revolted. Du An Yua started cracking up and beamed while waving his raven bone fan. Does Kiyoki Ao lack your bit of mystic currency? Everyone thought it over. That was indeed the case. Wasn't the royal court the one who produced mystic currency? Couldn't the young crown prince consort get as much as she wanted with just a stretch of her hand? Thereupon, everyone started clamoring again. Then crown prince consort, how about this? Allow me to use black rank medicinal materials to trade for a prolongation pill, how about it? The little stoic turned to look at family head Kin, who had spoken. She nodded reluctantly and inquired, what black rank medicinal materials will you be using to trade with me? Fifty stalks of the generational chain herb. This price was high enough, right? This was using fifty stalks of a black rank herb to trade for one high rank pill, no matter how you looked at it. The little stoic crown prince consort was profiting. Yet who would have expected that the young crown prince consort would shake her head? I already have this kind of black rank herb. What? Family headkind widened his eyes and reflexively turned to look next to him, at eldest young Sir Kin. You unfilial son. You were being completely willful and reckless by not having the clan's best interests at heart. If the clan head were to know, he would certainly punish the eldest young Sir ruthlessly. Oh that wasn't right. The second young sir had also sent presents. These two young sirs should both be punished severely. Family head Kin gritted his teeth before inquiring, Windy Throat Flower? The little stoic shook her head again. After she shook her head several dozen times in a row, Kin Gilu was so livid that he wished for nothing more than to give eldest Kin a vicious thrashing. The little stoic's eyes finally lit up when he recited the name of a black rank herb called Earth Date Leaf. She thus gave a nod promising family head Kin that he could trade 50 earth date leaves for one prolongation pill. Even though family head Kin felt terrible heartache from the price he had to pay, 
it was not considered a loss to trade for a high rank high grade prolongation pill. The remaining people wanted to swarm over like a hornet's nest to trade with the young crown prince consort for a prolongation pill. Yet after the crown prince stopped them with one look, they retreated abashedly. Crown Prince Mo led his wifey back to their seat and then looked at everyone. Those who wished to use valuable medicinal materials, Dharma treasures, and forging materials to trade for a prolongation pill can sign up on their own after the feast. Should the Crown Prince consort be interested, she will send someone to notify you to conduct the trade. Only then did everyone excitedly return back to their seats in high spirits. They were each making calculations in their minds trying to figure out what kind of precious items to trade for one of the crown prince consort's prolongation pills. Meanwhile, Commandery Princess Yun, who was standing smack dab in the middle of the main hall, had been in a daze for a long time. This lasted until the Queen Daija was unable to tolerate it any more and coughed lightly, instructing, Yun, if you have no more questions, you should go sit down. Yun instantly felt her cheeks burn and she hastily lowered her head as she swiftly walked back to her seat with two strides in place of three. Afterwards, for the duration of the feast, Commandery Princess Yin lowered her head and drank wine silently without speaking up again. She truly did not have the face to say anything else. Hash, Chapter 1437, A Night Chat Between Sisters The king only showed a smiling face again when he saw that the mood had turned pleasant. He then gestured to Queen Zhao with his eyes. Queen Dowager nodded in reply and summoned the dancers to come perform a congratulatory birthday dance. All the court officials stood up to congratulate the Queen Dowager on her major birthday. After experiencing some minor disruptions, the birthday feast finally ended on a good note with both guests and hosts thoroughly enjoying themselves. Once the feast ended, everyone immediately swarmed to register with the Eastern Palace's junior eunuch Xiao Elevens about the matter of purchasing a prolongation pill. Kiao Mu had also long been unable to hold herself back and bounced to the red-clothed young lady's side. She then bit her small lips aggrievedly while stretching out her arms. Doya hastily gave her a big bear hug as she murmured tearily, little junior sister, it's really great to see you. Kia Mu felt that seeing Doya was really great too. She had originally thought that there was no one left in the entire holy water sect besides her. When she suddenly saw Doya, she recalled this red-clothed girl with a tribal a whom she met in front of the mountain gate on the first day she went to the holy water sect eight years ago. You also came for the holy water sect skate test, right? Don't worry. Just follow me. We're from the Alava tribe in the west. My name is Doya, what about you? What's your name? Some memories seemed distant, but they seemed to be happening in front of her upon thinking of them again. They were so vivid that she could reach out and touch them. She had thought that Doya had long died in that massacre by the six prefectures. She had thought that her remains had long dissipated between heaven and earth, because at the end, when she was woodenly clearing away the sect disciples' corpses all alone by herself, she had only counted the remains of 500 plus disciples. Too many people had self-detonated that day inside the sect. The life lantern fragments inside the ancestral temple were also badly damaged, so she did not watch everyone's life lantern fragments. The little stoic was simply not certain whether Doya was one of the people who had self-detonated. Kiyam you could only wallow in her grief at this time, and her negative emotions bound her up within. Junior sister, don't be sad. If Aunt Master is looking down on us from the sky, she wouldn't want to see you like this. Doya patted her back gently. Come, let's go out to talk. Seeing that some people kept glancing over in their direction after they finished registering with Xiao Elevens inside the main hall, Doya took the little stoic's hand and walked out with her. In reality, everyone did not have bad intentions. They just couldn't help but be curious when they saw the stoic-faced Crown Prince consort forming an expression on her face. Crown Prince Mo had been paying close attention to his wifey's movements, but he did not go over to disturb her reunion with Doya. Your Highness, Yin just ran off with her tail between her legs. Hugh Ifing appeared beside Mo Lian with a grin. The amusing show just now truly was quite entertaining. Yin had gotten face slapped several times in a row by the Crown Prince consort in public, even he felt his face hurt for her. Mo Lian's gaze slowly turned frosty. She and the vassal Prince of Annan are getting married the day after tomorrow? Correct, 
On the 10th day of June, Molian curled his lips, keep an eye on everything, ensure that they get married smoothly without a hitch. Yes Hugh I think nodded vigorously. At this time, Doya had led her little junior sister to a somewhat remote waterside pavilion in Brocade Garden and sat inside the gazebo with her. It was already late in the evening, and a breeze blew over the surface of the lake creating ripples in the moon's reflection on the water. The two leaned back on the curved railing. Meanwhile, the tribesmen of the Alava tribe all stood far away outside the waterside pavilion, so there was no one coming to disturb the Marshall sisters. Hash, Chapter 1438, The Helpless Truth, Little Junior Sister Doya grasped her hands. Her voice choked. I just knew you would be fine. Senior sister Doya, can you tell me what happened to you that day? Doya nodded. That day, after we bid you goodbye and exited Xixia Valley, Aunt Master instructed me to remain outside Xixia Valley. Aunt Master had already guessed that you would follow us out. She wanted me to keep you in Xixia Valley by any means necessary and not allow you to return to the sect. As she recalled what had happened. Doya was distraught. I was unwilling to do so. I wanted to return to the sect with my master, but in the end, they had me remain there. I waited for you outside Xixia Valley for three days. But when I did not see you come out, I thought that Xixia Valley's valley master must have thought of some way to stop you. Hence, I planned to make a trip back to the sect. But, but on my way back, I nearly lost my life to the perils in the great swamp when I traversed it alone. Senior sister. The little stoic couldn't hold it in any more and threw herself into Doya's arms. The two sisters cried while hugging each other, as if wanting to vent out all their agony, frustration, and resentment from this lifetime. Luckily I had your summoning talisman to use, so I finally wasn't fighting alone. With the summoned beast's help, I ultimately escaped the great swamp after a dozen days. But when I returned to the sect, I only saw thistles enveloping everything, Without anyone there, there was nothing left. Doya's eyes reddened as tears trickled down her cheeks. She beat her chest and wailed. I did not know how I had hung on. I searched through the ruins on the mountain, searched everywhere. There was not even a single survivor. I could not find a single one of their corpses. I am too useless. Doya covered her face with her hands at this point. After taking out a handkerchief to help her wipe her face, Kiyamu shook her head. Senior sister, do not say that, Doya heaved a sigh and continued, I wanted to take revenge on the people from the six prefectures, but with my meager strength, I didn't even know where to look for them, my heart was filled with hatred, but I knew that revenge was impossible with just me, hence, I returned to my tribe, I wanted to strengthen my tribe and make it powerful, but during these years, we have been fighting continuously with the Akdo tribe in the western wastelands. To preserve our strength, we had no choice but to hide and watch for our chance to rise up. Speaking of this, Doya turned melancholic and hung her head. But as resources are scarce in the western wastelands, my tribesmen's strength is truly lagging too much behind the Akdo tribes. The truth just makes people that helpless. Doya turned to force a gloomy smile at Kiyamu. Even if you do your utmost to reach the peak, if you don't encounter that opportunity, don't have the resources to back it up, there is no use in saying anything at all. During that time, I remembered Master mentioning before that your family resided in Xijiu City. I couldn't set my mind at ease in regards to you, so I thought of going to Xijiu City to try my luck at finding you. Perhaps I really could find you, and then we sisters wouldn't be alone by ourselves. We could even discuss any matters too. But unfortunately, I was not able to find you in Xijiu City. Afterwards, the Akdo tribe was bearing down on us, so I was constantly kept on the run leading our tribesmen to hide here and there. Ha, huh, little junior sister, isn't senior sister very useless? Hash, chapter 1439, Murong letter, Kiyamu shook her head vigorously, and then shook her head again. Doya smiled at her again. When the major birthday of Northern Mo's Queen Dowager came around this time, I remembered your connection to the Northern Mo Crown Prince. I had only thought to have a try to see if I could meet you again yet I didn't expect. Junior sister, I'm really happy that my decision this time ultimately was not wrong. All these years, 
the Akdo have been hunting us down. I have been contemplating on the way here what I should do to keep our tribesmen's losses to the minimum if we were to encounter those Akdo barbarians. Yet I didn't expect that our journey would go so smoothly and that we wouldn't meet those bunch of madmen from the Akdo. As she said this, Doya blossomed into a smile while gripping Kiyomu's petite hands. I guessed that it must have been Aunt Master, Master, and them who were protecting me from up above allowing us martial sisters to reunite here. Okay Kiyomu nodded emphatically. Doya patted her petite head with a smile, and everything seemed to have flowed back in time for a moment. After laughing and crying their hearts out, only then did they wipe each other's tears before regaining their composure. Doya suddenly gritted her teeth and asked, Junior sister, did you see Yilingmin that bastard? Kiyomu shook her head. I haven't seen her at all after that. She actually dared to go missing after causing such an appalling disaster. She didn't even appear once after the sect's massacre. If I encounter her, I will definitely kill her so as to purge the sect. The little stoic did not say anything, merely hanging her petite head dispiritedly. Junior sister, you must not sympathize with her. She may be your immediate third senior sister but she is also the chief culprit for the sect's ruined or knew this little fellow all too well. Her expression may be cold, but she was warm at heart. She especially had an indissoluble affection toward the sect. Think of eldest senior sister Xushan Shan, think of second senior sister Yu Xiao, think of your master, think of your two aunt masters who didn't pass away innocently. Junior sister, we must not be soft-hearted toward her because Yi Lingmin caused all of this. Even if we martial sisters join hands to kill her, she cannot blame anyone else, only herself Doya gazed icily at the water surface up ahead before turning around to squeeze Kiyomu's petite hands. Kiyomu subconsciously nodded her petite head. Afterwards, Doya calmed her emotions before abruptly taking out a letter from her inner world and placing it in the little stoic's hand. Junior sister, Aunt Master left you a letter before leaving. I've been holding on to this letter for eight years. Today, I can finally hand it over to you. Kiyomu anxiously opened the letter and read through it line by line, character by character. On the letter was written, My disciple, let Master take a guess. You're scolding your Master for being a big liar as you read this letter. Correct, Master is a liar. Your Master has indeed lied to you this time. If there was even a one in a billionth chance of possibility, Master would absolutely not abandon you. Every time Master thinks of how you will be alone with no one to lean on in the future, it feels as if a knife is twisting inside my heart. But my disciple, you must promise your master that even if you are the only one remaining in the sect, you still have to live on. Master is remorseful that I cannot be by your side during your most difficult time. But you must believe that you need to confront any tribulation by yourself by braving it confidently. On our paths to cultivation, we cultivate both the body and the heart. It is only when we become great-hearted that we will be able to confront any matter fearlessly. Hash, Chapter 1440 Apex Academy. Should you insist on ascending to the six prefectures continent, first go to the Shanshan prefectures Lava Mountain Range and learn at Apex Academy for a period of time. You only need to show the green pine jade bangle that Master gave you to the Dean of Apex Academy. He will naturally take care of you in your Master's stead. Master knows that with your temperament, you definitely will not let the sect's matter go at that. But my disciple, you must keep in mind that before you are powerful enough, you must not take revenge lightly. Nor should you recklessly take crash action before you have sounded out the situation in the six prefectures. Only when you preserve your strength will there be hope, will there be a future. The holy water sect is now in your hands. It was signed at the end with, your master who misses you, Murong Zun. The little stoic's gaze stopped on the five words your master who misses you without realizing it, tears plopped onto the letter, practically blurring the word master. She hastily blinked her eyes before dabbing and blowing at the damp areas on the letter. Only then did she fold it up and put it away while murmuring, big liar. She originally thought that she would not shed any tears again, yet she didn't imagine that tears would come so suddenly when she saw Murong Zun's letter. Doya reached out to hug her shoulders and patted her consolingly. Little junior sister, what did eldest aunt master say? The little stoic told Doya about the Apex Academy that Murong Zun had mentioned in the letter. Could the dean of this Apex Academy be aunt master's old friend? 
Doya was surprised. I don't know Kiao Mu shook her head. There is still a month before the regular passageway between the six prefectures and the lower star domain opens. I plan to go through the passageway up to that six prefectures continent. Upon saying this, Kiao Mu recalled how Shanshan prefectures prefecture lord intended to control her life, and all the old enmities added with the new acrimonies in her heart. Those people, I will not let off a single one. Okay. I'll go along with you. Doya looked down at herself. But I heard that you must have sensed the energy of the five spirits in order to enter the passageway. Unfortunately, until now I still. Kiao Mu blinked. There is still a month's time. Senior sister Doya, don't be anxious. If you truly still aren't able to buy that time. I'll just bring you up to the six prefectures continent first. It'll be much easier to sense the five spirits there. After all, it was basically impossible to sense the original elemental power of the five spirits here in the lower star domain. At present, senior sister Doya's cultivation was that of a level 12 mystic cultivator, so she still needed to advance it somewhat. The little stoic tilted her head to observe Doya. Afterwards, she took out several bottles of pills as well as a wad of talismans from her pocket and stuffed them all into Doya's hands. Six prefectures, there are two bottles of origin gathering pills here, as well as one level 13 mystic breakthrough pill. Try to see if you can advance your mystic energy to level 13 within this month. Then when we go to the six prefectures continent, you will be able to break through to the spiritual realm in the shortest time possible. If I haven't advanced to level 13, how would I be able to go to the six prefectures continent? Doya muttered puzzledly. Afterwards, she held up a pile of pills jubilantly. All these talismans are? After you activate the talisman with a drop of your blood, it will form a mystic guiding talisman matrix to assist in your cultivation. Okay, okay little junior sister. There is still a month's time, so I will work hard. As for my tribesmen, don't worry, I will have people take care of them. Okay Doya nodded with a smile. When the Marshall sisters exchanged glances, they could read from each other's eyes a hint of resoluteness as well as hope. Six prefectures, just wait. Hash. <laughs>